Emperor Justinian I and Empress Theodora were the 6th century golden couple of the Byzantine Empire. If you think Jay-Z and Beyonce, but with a lot more chariots. But what exactly was the Byzantine Empire? Well, it's the eastern section of the Roman Empire, which included large sections of Europe, North Africa and parts of Asia, and lasted from around the 4th century to the 15th century AD. Flavius Petrus Sabatius Justinianus Augustus, the future Emperor Justinian, was born in the Balkans in the 480s AD. He was very close to his uncle Justin, who in true rags to riches fashion, became emperor in 518 AD after leaving life as a pig farmer to rise through the ranks of the military. After moving to the Byzantine capital of Constantinople, which is modern-day Istanbul, one of Justinian's hobbies was watching chariot racing at the hip and happening Hippodrome. It was likely there, amidst the hustle and bustle of match day, that Justinian met his future wife Theodora. Theodora's family was poor, and after her father died, she and her sisters were sent to work as actresses. It's likely that Theodora was also a sex worker and travelled to places like North Africa in the company of high-ranking political officials. When Theodora and Justinian fell in love, it wasn't common for someone as newly posh as Justinian to marry someone not posh like Theodora. So Justinian had his emperor uncle change the law so they could marry. That is romantic. Justinian and Theodora married in around 525 AD, and two years later his emperor uncle chose Justinian to serve as his co-emperor. Sadly, Justinian's uncle died four months later, meaning Justinian became Emperor Justinian I on the 1st of August 527 AD. Are you still with us? Justinian then made the politically savvy Theodora one of his chief advisers. When Justinian came to power, the laws of the land were scattered, contradictory and generally a hot mess. In 528 AD, Justinian began work on a new legal code and he continued to legislate throughout his reign. This collective body of work is known as the Code of Justinian and still influences laws today. Theodora was likely responsible for laws which protected women, including better treatment of sex workers and harsher punishments for abusers. Justinian also reforms the tax system, primarily to take it out of the hands of shady local officials. But not everything was hunky-dory. In 532 AD, riots broke out across Constantinople, ushering in days of gruesome violence. Tens of thousands of people were killed and fire ravaged the city. A jittery Justinian wanted to flee, but it was the fearless Theodora who stopped him, claiming such a thing would be unthinkable. What a legend. Eventually, the violence was suppressed by Justinian's generals. The riots had wreaked havoc, but Justinian took the opportunity to embark on an ambitious architectural programme to restore the city, including building the incredible Hagia Sophia, which still stands today. As well as restoring Constantinople, Justinian wanted to crack on restoring parts of the empire in the west. He was especially keen to secure the city of Rome, and when its current occupier, Amala Suntha, was found murdered in a bathtub, he saw a golden opportunity. After a series of military campaigns, by January 537 AD, Justinian had the keys to Rome. Sadly, Theodora died in 548 AD, perhaps due to cancer. Despite his heartbreak, Justinian continued his campaign of empire building and cultural reform until his death in 565 AD. Justinian ruled for nearly 40 years, much of the time with Theodora as his right-hand woman. Their red-hot romance turned out to be a highly effective job share, and their reign is remembered for its legal reforms, beautiful Byzantine buildings, and substantial territorial expansion. When Justinian died, he was succeeded by his nephew, who was called, you guessed it, Justin, and he married the niece of Theodora. Cute.